Ever since I started making object show content on this channel, the character of Pillow from BFB and Teapot has shown immense amount of disdain and hatred by me. In fact, as early as March 2021, when I showed my first BFB tier list, Pillow is alone at the bottom. But I'd like to do a bit of comparing. My bottom five from this era happen to include Pillow, Pencil, TV, Bell, and Eggy. And my bottom five as of now, August 2023, is Pillow, Grassy, Fiery, Leafy, and Gelatin. Despite the latter four from my older tier list showing at least some moderate growth, Pillow has never moved up from being my bottom placed character. And now you might be asking, why is that? Why do you have such an immense hatred for this character? And I'm going to explain that in four reasons. Four main reasons. There's tons of tiny little problems I have with her, but I'm only going to go over the big four. From least problematic to most. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Number four is going to be the arm fluttering gag. The arm fluttering gag was introduced in BFB1 and was mainly used on Teardrop and Barf Bag, but now it's mostly just used on Teardrop. The whole gist of the gag is that if you wave your arms, like flutter them around, it means you don't care, according to Pillow's research. This gag just kind of annoys me and that's why it's the lowest level. The fact that she was the one to introduce it, it gave me a bad impression of her already. So, just like, the annoyance of the gag and just kind of how it's used on Teardrop kind of rubs me in the wrong way. Like, it's harmless, but it annoys me. That's all I'm gonna say. Number three is going to be how inconsistent her personality was in pre-split BFB. Yes, I do know that pre-split was a while ago, and it might not be worth for some of you to consider this into how she acts now, but I like to consider the full picture with every single one of these characters, so I don't like to skimp out on stuff just because it was the past or because it was a while ago. With that in mind, it seems like the writers didn't really know what to do with Pillow, with le which left her as one of the most unremarkable characters in pre-split. She was, I think, like bottom five in the BFB 13 slash 14 vote for who you love poll, which I think is a bit interesting. Side note, Eggy was last in that poll and that makes me sad, but this isn't a video about her. Hello in episode one of BFP was like, she was curious, but also wildly misinformed about whatever she was interested in researching, which I don't think that's a bad personality trait. I like curious characters, ones that want to learn more, but she was like antagonistic in a way with how she was treating people. So like, that's kind of how she is now, but like, it's very different. In BFB 4, because she's on Death Pact, she makes attempts to save 4. She like never does this again, so it kind of just felt like an in the spurt moment. She also may, has intentions to like, do it all herself. So you can, she, so you can see she's a bit selfless in that regard. Which I don't think that's a bad character trait. And then you go through the episodes, and then she just kind of becomes a bit more dull-minded, you could say. She's not really all that smart. Like, she seemed to act quite smart in the early episodes, but she doesn't really seem to think. Like in episode 10, where she just licks Lollipop because she was hungry and didn't really understand the situation. Or in BFB9, where she didn't understand how Tree couldn't shoot the balls into the basket. I don't care if that was for a joke, it's purposely misinterpreting the character. So for all of that, Pillow's character just didn't really seem to have one mainstay as what how she would act, and I think that sort of contributed to why I disliked her. So that's number three. Number two is going to be her apathy. Now I know that's kind of a stupid pick to have as your second biggest issue with a character, but I don't know, something about just how unconcerned with the world she is is not for me it seems like with teapot they generally started to know what to do with pillow like they've sort of just portrayed her for multiple episodes as a sociopath who doesn't care about others and really only does stuff for the benefit of herself or for her own amusement i think that's an interesting archetype but i think with just pillow it doesn't really work like, with how she, we saw her before, she was never, like, blatantly malicious. 
Like, she was unaware, but I don't think she would do stuff like this. I don't know, just seeing Pillow attempt and succeed in killing people multiple, multiple times, I don't know. It doesn't really work for me. I can, I can understand why people might like it. Because, I don't know, it's a bit, if it's a bit of a different take. It's not, um, it's not like any other BFB or Teapot character. But, I don't know. With how little there was to go off of Pillow and Pre-Split, it's, I still feel safe saying she wouldn't really act like this. But, I don't, I keep saying, I don't know. Anyway, I don't like how Pillow doesn't care about others. Yeah, that's number one. And the number one reason why I don't like Pillow is her relationships with her other teammates. More specifically on Just Not with Nicole and Bami. When Pillow was on Death Pact, it was a bit unfitting, but there wasn't really much other places she could go. And I kind of like their interactions, but mostly when they're on different teams, like in Teapot 2. But with characters like Nickel and Bami, the fact that they're on the same team, it kind of ruins Nickel and Bami both for me. And the reason why is Pillow. You see, with Bami, Pillow doesn't really, like, talk to him. They don't have, like, a defined relationship. Pillow just explodes him if she needs to. I will admit, it is a little bit funny, but not really, because it kind of ruins Bami's chance to grow as a character. And as for Nickel, Nickel just becomes way more angry when Pillow's around, and she just doesn't really care. I guess she is winning the I don't give a fuck award, but with Nickel, it makes him act more like his inanimate insanity card counterpart. And the thing about those two is that they're strikingly different at their core, as like the short with both of them sort of implemented. And I think just having them both on a team where it would make Nickel far more pessimistic about everything, it's just not worth it in the long run. So I think having one of them off of it would benefit. So yeah, in short, I think Pillow negatively affects other characters a lot more than you might think about. Just me personally, this is all opinion based by the way. You don't have to start disliking Pillow. You don't have to start liking Pillow despite me. If you want to do that, that's okay. But this was just a video I wanted to make cause it's my thousandth video technically. And people still wonder why I dislike Pillow as much as I do. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this one. Hopefully it's not too long. I might edit some stuff, and uh, bye.